another paddle weekend. I don't know how I get away with it, but anyway, we are uh, down the bottom of the Isle of Seal, uh, just south of Oban on the west coast of Scotland. Um, you can see here, this is the Isle of Seal. You can get to by a small bridge, Clacken Bridge it's called, or the bridge over the Atlantic. And we're away down at Coon, so this is Coon Sound, which is just out there where George is paddling. So there's a bit of flow there, so it's quite a famous fast flowing piece of water. And uh, we're, we're here, it's, it's late afternoon, we're just going to have a quick paddle around there and, uh, and have a play. Uh, and then tomorrow the plan is to, to head round the Isle of Seal, which we've done before on uh, a couple of occasions at least. Um, so we're going to do that. That does take a fair bit of planning though, because it, it can dry out underneath the Clacken Bridge and the speed of flow is quite um, influential on paddling, um, certainly here at the Coon Sound and, and underneath that bridge. We are staying right on the water. We're staying here, um, just just near the Coon Sound, as I said. There's a couple of old lifeboats and then there's a couple of, um, I don't know what you would call them, bunkers maybe? Very basic accommodation, I'll show you later, but it's absolutely perfect to be, to be found on Airbnb. So, I'll go and find out where George is, and we'll go and have a play in the fast flowing water. See you in a bit. That's not a chain ferry. Chain ferries don't do a 180 degree. <laughs> there used to be one that went back and forward across the Clyde at Renfrew. And I went on that as a kid a few times, but um, that's definitely not one. I reckon we just paddle up the coast here and then cut across, use the ferry to cut us across, and then uh, then we'll get up there and then we'll have a pull about, and then to come back, we'll just head up again and then cut across, yeah. I wonder if there's a hot tub here. I did actually bring my swimmies. <laughs> I know. Right then. It's just a short one this afternoon to experience the flow. But we'll get out tomorrow, head round the Isle of Seal. And uh, yeah, it should be good. Right then, a beer. Our guard dog for today. This is George's bed, believe it or not. Oh, and me. Happy days. Bathroom. Hey. So it's just about 7.30 in the morning, just heading off to try and get some of the tides but yeah as is always the case around here you sometimes have to do a bit of battling and I uh, don't know how well you can see this, we're turning right and it looks like there's a 5 or a 6 knot flow from right to left so we'll try and rely on some eddies to get around the corner here and head up to Easdale but uh, it could be a battle or fun, let's see.
<laughs> oh yeah. Actually there's not many eddies along there, is there, George? Right, let's see if we can get round. Yeah, it's a bit bubbly. Alright. Getting turned. Whee! Right, we need to get back into the side, I think. <laughs> Going back up. Okay. Alright, so I can see Eastdale on the horizon, we just got to battle this because it's the one headache for today. So, let's see if we can get some speed up. Oh, it's chucking me around. I feel a plan B coming on. Right, so we've left it a little bit late to head off. It was ripping on the uh, on the seal side, um, so we've cut across, ferry glided across to Lewig, Lewing, Lewig. Um, so just to see if we can catch some eddies heading up this side. It's pretty fast flowing. Kind of reminds me of um, Falls of Laura. But we've got a couple more battles to do around here and then hopefully when we get out the narrows here we'll be on to a bit of an easier ride up to Eastdale and then it should be easy and we'll catch the, the tide back down through the narrows. So let's have a go. George is looking fairly static at the moment. Alright, let's try this. We're going to get thrown to the right here a little bit. There we go. And then paddle round. That wasn't too bad. Coming up on Eastdale. <laughs> so coming through the sound of cooing there was quite a challenge actually. Um, we knew it would be a challenge when we set out to do what we we're doing, but we just thought ah, it's a it's a hurdle that we'll just we'll just need to cross in the morning so we can catch the tides the rest of the way around. But um, we had to really hop between the bays and then make a last dash um, after cutting across the sound altogether. So anyway, we're nearly Eastdale. Should be easier paddling now, heading up to the north of the island. And uh, yeah, let's head over here and catch a rest, probably. Eastdale Island. For those that don't know, it's home of the World Skimming Championships. It used to be an old slate, I think it was slate quarry or slate quarries, but 
um, I think a crazy storm many years ago filled them in um, I might be wrong there anyway oh, I'm getting steamed up but here's the uh, what is that called uh, is that Eastdale? this is Eastdale Island I don't know if that's Eastdale anyway I'll put it on the screen but yeah this is it's very pleasant what a nice day I watched a little bit of England last night and obviously we were going to beat them in the final but that's not going to happen today so <laughs> do we beat the final? What's better than paddling around the Isle of Seal? Paddling around the Isle of Seal while listening to a golf podcast Happy days Alright, we're just reaching the tip of the Isle of Seal just between this, uh, these two islands here about to turn the corner. A little anchorage over there. Did you see the mast? Well, maybe, maybe you can. See the mast? A little safe haven. We've had a good push up from Eastdale. Um, a little bit of wind behind, and also the tide seemed to have been helping us a little bit. So, with a bit of luck, if we've done our calculations right, the flow around this corner should be heading southbound. So, we shall see. Um, hopefully, we'll throw the drone up and you'll see some nice photos. Video going going down through there. Let's go. So we're just going to keep paddling a little bit longer before we stop because the uh, the tides are going to start turning a little bit and that's not beneficial and we're going into wind now as well so anyway we'll, we'll plow down towards Balvicar and uh, see what happens. Spot of lunch I think. It's only quarter to eleven. Well, we should have left earlier. But anyway, the wind's picking up a bit now, so it's becoming a bit of a slog. But that's okay. Let's get a sandwich. Anyway, that's us back. Islands on the other side of the the islands is where we're staying. Come back round, and we're catching the flow, going the correct way this time. So it's quite good just sitting here cruising along it. Three and a half kilometers an hour, and I'm not even in the main flow. Uh, so yeah, the moral of the story today was this is the third time we've been around Seal, and the moral of the story was we planned everything, but ultimately we didn't leave on time, and that had a knock-on effect of making it more difficult this morning trying to get out of this sound. Um, we had to just hop between bays and uh, put in a bit of effort, and then when we got to the top of Seal coming down under the bridge, um, the flow was going our way, but it wasn't as strong as perhaps it would have been an hour earlier, um, and it would have helped us all the way down the, the southeast side of Seal as well, but it was good. It's taken us four hours with a couple of stops, you know, flying the drone, um, what is that, 20k? It'll be 20k by the time we get back, so it's a good paddle. It certainly sorts you out if... Um, you need to do any um, challenging uh, navigation and tidal planning um, but yeah but that was it for a short weekend we'll see you next time cheers